Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand brand new series. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to go from <laughs> this blank canvas to a final drawing. So pretty exciting stuff. So uh, we're just going to jump right into it. I'm just going to kind of explain my workflow and how I go about doing what I do for most of my drawings. So you can feel free if you want to follow along. Um, but if you just take these uh, these steps that you'll see throughout the process of creating this drawing, um, I think it will really help you guys improve on your artwork. And um, yeah, also too, another thing that I want to say is uh, I had talked about in one of my previous videos before about how sometimes keeping the creative flow really helps if you um, write down some ideas of what you want your drawing to be before you actually start because uh, a lot of times people will get to a blank canvas and they'll feel super intimidated because they have to put something on it but they don't really know what to put so if you kind of write down an idea so for instance uh, so let's say uh, you just write down like a small little description so you could say uh, I don't know a uh, cybernetic dog playing frisbee on a dystopian beach or something like that right and then you go in and you write descriptions you're like what color is the sunset uh what does the you know is the dog completely the dog or does it have like robotic arms or whatever like you just write down as much of the little description as you can and that way when you get to the canvas it actually helps you stay focused um so yeah, so that's that's something that you can try. So anyway, I'm, I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> I'm trying to give some good information, but let's jump right into it. So here we go. Okay, so when I start out, um, I really, really like to uh, just start with like some, some form, uh, just like big brush strokes or whatever. So I'm going here to my favorites and I'm gonna get the wet stucco roller. Oh, let's, let's, let's try it out. Let's see. Okay. So kind of like what it is I like to do is just like create the form. A lot of people like to start off with just like doing like the, the, the line work. Um, and sometimes that can be, I don't know, me personally, I don't like doing that. So um, also, so you saw me just a minute ago, just change the background color a little bit. Sometimes just the pure white can be a little harsh on the eyes so sometimes changing your background color to something that's more calm and relaxing um can actually be be pretty, uh, be pretty beneficial okay so as you can see right now i'm just starting off with these um really big uh brush strokes and this is actually makes it a lot easier to concentrate on uh not worrying <laughs> so much about like oh man i messed up on that line or uh you know, it just, it doesn't look right or whatever. Like this is more, I like to think of this more as like, uh, this is like clay, right? So I'm just going to adjust the, the angle of it just a little bit. One thing that's really important too, guys, is relax. <laughs> really, 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 really try to relax as you're drawing. So I created a new layer right here. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually just going to, there's going to be like uh, the body layer. So we have the big circle uh, up at the top, which is the head. And then we're just kind of sketching out just like a random shape for the body. And as you can see, this is by no means anything perfect. Um, <laughs> it looks kind of crazy right now, but this is how it's supposed to look. So we're going to do a lot of stuff to like shape it up and make it look really good. So, and I, I truly, truly, truly believe in my heart of hearts <laughs> that this method will actually help improve a lot. So I'm, I'm very excited for you to be able to share this, this, uh, this tutorial series with you guys, cause I really, I really think it's going to help. I really do. So I always get like stoked when there's like content that I can put out to where I'm like, yeah, this is really going to help, you know, help them. Um, so yeah. So also too, I want to throw this out there, the drawing that we're currently doing right now at the end of this series, um, you guys will actually be able to buy this drawing if you want. Um, so it's going to be up on my website. So there will be a link in the description for that. So by you guys doing that, it actually will help me be able to support um, the channel by actually being able to keep making these long videos like this, uh, these uh, 
workflows of me just showing my whole entire process. So yeah, so you want to help out a, a a creator, go and buy buy uh, buy this drawing <laughs> or some other artwork that I have up there as well. Okay. So yeah, so we're just kind of getting the pose. It's so much easier like this for me, guys. Like honestly, um, because you know, I guess I, I mentioned this just you know a little bit earlier, but a lot of people use, uh, you know, they just start off doing like the the uh, like the line work. You know, they start off with that first, and. I don't know. It's just for me, I just feel like if I can work with these big brush strokes and just kind of like really messy, just get the idea out, I can shape it into what I want it. Um, you know, and that's the beautiful thing about art. We all draw, you know, different or certain things work for us. Um, I'm going to adjust this just a little bit right there. There we go. But yeah, some things just work different for everyone. Um, so right here, I'm just kind of having some ideas and just kind of like shaping out like how I want the the helmet to kind of be. I kind of want those little wings to kind of pop out on the sides. And for those of you that are wondering, I am using Infinite Painter and I'm drawing on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. So we've merged those two together, create a new layer, drop that down. And we're gonna start working on the lower half of the, uh, the robot. <laughs> I always feel like this method is it's just really good for people who feel like they can't draw right because this is just so rough you know <laughs> it's so rough and um it's 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 an easy way for people to kind of understand without seeing like like kind of finished looking work and then they're like oh my gosh like I could never draw like that like I feel like this is less intimidating like kind of starting out so but yeah so I'm just kind of like drawing the shoe or his foot kind of right here. So he's like in a kneeling position. You guys can probably see that. So we merge that together. And then I'm always constantly making little adjustments to the, the main uh, layer that we have the artwork on. So you can always adjust it. And that's the thing too, is you don't really have to worry about the quality of this particular layer, just because you can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can kind of uh push it around move it and all that stuff it's like because we're gonna do so much more to add like uh detail onto this so right now it's just really trying to fill out and uh to get the idea like it's as if you could just imagine if you have a piece of clay in your hands this is literally you just kind of like not even worrying so much about like how accurate everything is it's just like trying to just get the feel for it Okay, so I made this transparent, and so now what we're going to do is create a new layer, and we're going to actually start doing our second version of this drawing. Now, what this does is this is where we start to try to form a little bit more detail. So we're going to try to define a little bit more of what the drawing could look like, but still kind of rough. Um, so the idea is you do this in stages. So you can see, like, we're practically sketching out what we already had, but now, as you can see, we're putting a little circle here. So this is kind of where the creativity part starts to come in of, like, okay, how is the drawing going to look? Like, you know, I have this practically silhouette, but now we need to start, like, putting in some little areas that will define what this is actually going to look like. So yeah, so for me, this like, I, I do this with everything, even my more like cartoon looking drawings, I actually use this method too, because it's just like, it helps keep me uh, focused to where I'm not stressing so much about like, oh gosh, like it just, it doesn't look right. So right here, I'm drawing the hand. So I want the hand to look like it's open. So I'm kind of just kind of roughly sketching out these robotic fingers. So as you can see right here, 
but you can see it's very rough so i'm making this like the arch piece right there that's to represent like the glove that's kind of on like that would be closer to um a little past his wrist or whatever and then just kind of trying to mirror the other side too so now this hand is closed so we're just going to kind of i'm going to be super detailed with the hand just because we're not worried about that but we're just the idea of it you know I also feel like this is a really good method for just doing like conceptual art um as you'll see now mind you too uh <laughs> when I was uh drawing this uh this is something that I uh was just drawing just straight from my imagination so um once I have other, like, if I redraw a character that I already have, it's a lot easier just to go quick, you know, quick. But as I'm sitting there trying to, like, think, how do I want this to look? I'm always, you know, processing that, too. So. So, like, <laughs> when I'm actually, when I was actually drawing this, I was actually uh, listening to music. Um, and I was like, I'll do the voiceover later because <laughs> it helps me so you will stay focused. Um, that's another thing, too. I encourage you guys to, like, find, like, some, some, some song that makes you feel inspired. And just kind of have that playing on in the background. Sometimes I'll listen to a song on loop multiple times um, if it's really working for me. So so right here, as you can see, I am adding uh, some more details. So a lot of my robots, I like to have that little like squishy look to where it's... Uh, oh gosh, there was a... Uh, what did they use? They don't really make them like this anymore, but I remember as a kid, I used to always find cords that had like the plastic protector piece and it was all like, looked like a centipede or whatever. For some reason that has stuck with me and I put it in a lot of my, my drawings when I do like robots and stuff. I just think it looks cool. So, and it, you know, sometimes you'll see it like on spacesuits or whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're going to draw the, the staff right here that he's holding. Once you have an idea, which I feel like this is like, this is, this is visually, this is what you would say. This is the idea. Once you have that, I feel like it's a lot more easy to start detailing, um, the idea. It's like, you got to get the idea out first. You know, you can see it in your head, but then it's like, you know, you've got to create it. And so some, sometimes I always feel like I'm like, let the art speak to you. And, you know, I've, <laughs> some people have thought I was like kind of crazy when I say that, but it's just something they don't get. But it's like the art will kind of tell you like what needs to come next, you know, um, so as you can see, like when you're detailing the helmet just a little bit, just getting the idea. Now, we're you know, see, we're shaping it up. So see, like right here, we want more of the his robes kind of come over his knee a little bit more. Um, so yeah. Okay, so you can see how that kind of looked. So it's kind of even that right there. It's kind of a big step, right, for just what we had. So now we have a new layer, and I always like to draw a little bit of shadow because for some reason for me personally it always just like I like to do it early in the stage because it, it kind of helps me feel like the drawings actually lock down to an environment even though there's nothing behind him yet but uh it just helps me feel like okay well he's he's somewhere he's not just floating in the middle of nowhere you know Again, kind of adding a little bit more defining the areas so like you can see we just did with the shoe right there I really want to encourage you guys to try try this method just try it you know a couple of drawings um, you know and then just you'll see I, I truly believe you'll see it's actually gonna feel a lot more uh, comfortable you know
And then, like I said, make sure you write out your your uh, little description of what you want the drawing to be. That will help keep you on track. And it may not be 100% identical to uh, what you actually started with, right? So, like, when you write it out, it might say one thing, and then as you draw, like, the drawing might go in a different direction. But that that's okay. That's literally only to help you kind of stay on focus so you don't, you know, have to try to come up with it all. So, yeah, so right here, um, I'm just kind of writing this. Sometimes I'll do this, uh, mostly when I'm doing YouTube videos, but I'll just write, like, you know, especially if it's a tutorial video, I'll show, like, where the light source is supposed to be coming from. Um, sometimes that's important because, you know, sometimes uh, it, you can forget, you know, if you're not paying attention, like, where your light source is coming from. Um, I usually don't forget, but I just, when I'm making tutorial videos, I like to, you know, kind of just put this as a little guide for sometimes for some people to 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 do. So there's the the S right there that stands for like where I want shadow areas to fall and the L up there is for uh light so another S so more shadows would be in this area. I would say this is a good method for people that are just kind of like starting out just so they can remember. Um, and you can put that on a separate layer too, so you don't, uh, it doesn't affect your actual drawing or anything. Let's see, I had to make that a little bit smaller. So it, you can see I'm adding a little bit of shadow in right there. So that shadow is falling from, like, like underneath the chin practically is what that is. So I'm putting some shadow right in here. You kind of want to hit the areas where light isn't really um, focused on really strong. So as you can see throughout this video, we'll do a lot more uh, different steps with the shadowing and stuff. But this is just kind of an early, early stage to just get the idea of where things need to be. So a little bit of shadow right there where you can see a separation from like the robe and his leg down there. And then right there on the boot. There you go. So you see? So even that right there makes a little bit of a difference. Add a little bit of darkness here. Sometimes what this helps with, it's not so much like shadow necessarily. It's just a little bit of like texture just to help it so it's not so flat. It's a little bit of volume um, is what you could say. Perfect. So sometimes you see how I just drop the opacity on that. So I'll do that pretty much when I'm about to st do another layer of um, of detail because I, I I want it to be a little bit transparent. I don't want it to be as strong as the layer that I'm about to draw on, uh, but I still want to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use this ink and we're going to put that above the layer that we just finished. And there's going to be another layer of uh, detail. So we're, again, we start out blotchy and then we add a little bit more detail and it's a little bit of shadows. And then now we're going to do this drawing again, a little more detail. And this is where you kind of want to start thinking a little bit more about like, okay, now we're kind of getting to where, you know, some of these lines and stuff were going to show up. Um, to kind of help add the, the detail that we're going to need. So you kind of want to start thinking more about like, how can I detail this more, you know? And if you need to look at reference artwork or anything, um, I encourage you to do that. Uh, you know, so like if you need to look at like textures of something, so for instance, like this, we're using like, um, uh, his, his helmet is going to be like a very like metal look, right? So, um, you can kind of go ahead and start getting that stuff together if you need. You can just go on Google, just look up like, you know, metal or 
drawing grass, just look up grass or water or just those things. And you just have them ready to go because eventually you're going to need to look at those textures and stuff because you want to try to represent that. So as you can see, again, we're just doing kind of the same thing. I I really like to think of this as almost like um, <laughs> it's like a cookie cutter, right? Um, that's what it reminds me of. Like you use this as a cookie cutter because then when you start using like your colors and you actually kind of start painting the drawing, uh, this kind of helps you just kind of like stay in, stay in the lines, you know? So the whole thing with this process is to really just kind of like slim, slim this down. So each version of this drawing that we're doing, we're trying to like streamline it. Just trying to get it looking more, it's more pretty. <laughs> So see like right there, like we're trying to just make those stand out a little bit more. So this is like a very rough uh, sketch layer of like, like what I used to call in my, uh, in my older YouTube videos. Remember those of you that have been with me forever, I used to call it messy sketchy. Uh, that's what I would call this, uh, <laughs> this section right here. And this, feel free, like, just keep your hand just, like, feeling free. You don't have to feel, like, super tense or anything right now. You're just, like, you're just, you're just sketching. You know, just keep your hand just kind of loose. Just let your strokes just kind of, like, vroom, <laughs> you know, just kind of, like, glide across the screen. And for those of you that are wondering, too, uh, as we're, you know, doing this drawing, I am not using the screen protector. Um, I know people have asked me about that and I did a video about that, but um, yeah, no screen protector. Uh, I, I feel like you don't really need one, uh, at least with this particular tablet. Tablet, And I've got the S Pen going as well too, so I don't, I never need it. So we got those wires right there and we're just gonna make sure that we don't like lose them or whatever. go so you can see like my strokes that i'm doing for this are very just like like i said it's very quick and um and you know some all of these things that i'm showing you too like you may not get it on the first try like but it it, it doesn't matter you just keep practicing it that's that's one of the things is like when you're doing art like you your learning experience is never done like you always have to learn new things you always have to practice new things and is you know you you do have to challenge yourself too which is um you know i think sometimes some people get frustrated with that and trust me i understand i get frustrated with a lot of my drawings there are a ton of drawings that will never see the light of day uh, <laughs> just because i was extremely unhappy with them um but that's all part of the process you know you just keep working you know and once you have like a system uh that really uh you can see like i'm doing more like little details if you a lot of my drawings if you look at them or especially when it comes to like robots there's those little like that little design that i just did it's in a lot of my drawings um but yeah so I, anyway if you have like a system though of like steps to do it will improve your your time as you're drawing and it will help you just like not feel so lost when you start and then you'll have that confidence and that feeling of like i'm going to draw this and i i know i can do it because i you know i have uh the steps that i need to actually take to to do this Okay, so what I'm doing right here is adding just this little bit of color. 
just like an undertone practically just a little bit of undertone color All this setup that we've been doing for the drawing, it's going to go a long way. It's just, <laughs> just wait till you guys see. But, uh, yeah. And we're going to, you know, I'll be with you every step of the way. Um, and if you guys have questions too, uh, post in the comments below. Uh, also too, don't forget to <laughs> give the video a thumbs up. Because that always lets me know that you guys are really enjoying like this type of stuff. So, um you know, I, uh, I was, uh, the feedback is amazing. <laughs> it always makes me feel excited when I'm like, oh, wow, yay, that person, it really worked for them. They really like, you know, this video or whatever. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to kind of fill all this in right here. And we'll do the same over here. Okay, so I made a new layer, and I'm going to just make this a little bit brighter. Now, one thing, uh, you'll probably change up a lot of stuff as you're drawing, because it's rare, <laughs> well, at least I'll say for me, it's rare that I have, like, a 100% clear vision on what everything is supposed to look like, like, at the start. You know, like, I know, like, oh, it's going to be this color for sure, and this, this, and that. Like, I, because I just change so much stuff as I'm working, because I just want to see, like, okay, well, maybe I thought it was going to be this color, but, like, let's switch it up, and let's see what it looks like if I did it like this. Like, and um, I would encourage you to just, don't be, like, married to an idea for everything, you know, just be okay to allow some stuff to change possibly. So I'm actually gonna drop that layer below. There we go. I'm gonna fill that in, even though that won't be its final color, but still it's just filling certain areas in. So right now, it looks like a cheap comic. <laughs> um, you know, like uh, some of those comics you see. I mean, see, like like right here. Like I, at first, I was like, "Well, we'll make this white, like brighter on the arms." But uh, we'll actually go ahead and just make it darker. But um, gosh, I don't know what they're called, but there's sometimes you see like those really like washed out looking like comics or whatever. Um, <laughs> that's kind of like where we are right now. And, you know, I always feel like there's the, what do you call it, the ugly stage, right? There's always, like, a ugly stage when you're drawing of, like, oh, gosh, like, this just looks like, ugh, <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm going to merge those two together. So look at that. So see, we've got, we merge those together. Okay. So look at that. So see? And kind of see how it's like coming together. How we use all these little steps to help us. That's all they are. They're just little stepping stones to help us get the final look that we want. So, um, about to end the video right here, but we will continue in the second video. So, you guys be ready for that because it will be out um, right after this one. <laughs> so. So put a little bit of color right there because we know that we know those are going to glow at some point. They're going to be some color, some kind of light. So it's more just an idea of like, hey, this should probably be separated from the rest of the colors because this is something that we want to glow. And you can always write little notes and stuff. I don't really write notes when I'm drawing just <laughs> because it's all up in my head. But I mean, maybe that will work for some people. So. And then we'll just do a little bit more here on the uh, on the staff just to darken that in a little bit. So yeah, so we are going to continue in the second video. And at the time, if you're watching this right when it came out, then the video will be out tomorrow. Uh, 
but if you're watching this later, then it should be the next video right after. So you should be able to click next. So anyway, um, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel too if you guys enjoy this type of content. And I will try to keep pushing this out. Oh yeah, please don't forget to save. Save, 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 save. <laughs> save your artwork, please. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you guys want more of this kind of content, you know what to do. Just go ahead and subscribe. And uh, just let me know what you guys think and all that good stuff. And again, too, if you want to help support my channel and want to help me be able to keep my dream alive of being able to do this full time, um, this drawing is available for you guys to go and buy on my website. And uh, yeah, so pretty exciting stuff. So uh, I will see you guys in part two and we'll continue with this drawing and getting it all nice and detailed. Alrighty, see you guys over there. Bye.